21 questions were selected this year from our question and answer session from your many submissions. Now we'll begin with Darby from Pebble Creek Elementary School. The principal is Mrs. Annette Rohrbeck. They're with College Station Independent School District. Darby, first question on stage. Hello, Mrs. Bush. My name is Darby. I am in the fourth grade. My teacher is Miss Westbrook and my librarian is Miss Woody. My question is, what were some of your duties at the White House? That's a good question, Darby. I, I'm not sure I had duties, but I did a lot of things. Uh, first of all, I oversaw the dining room china we used, I saw uh, the meals we ate. Um, then I did a lot of charitable things. You know, when you're in the White House, as Lady Bird says, you have a bully pulpit. People listen to you just because you married the president. You can be the world's biggest dummy, but <laughs> they'll listen. And so that was the, one of the things I did. I tried to do something every day that would help someone else. That's what I did. All right, thank you. All right, now we go to Region 6, where Mrs. Solo, Component Director for Technology Services, will facilitate and moderate the video conference as we visit with schools across Texas. And this morning, we say a big Texas A&M hello to Mrs. Solo. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very, very much. Mrs. Bush, we so appreciate all the hard work you do to encourage kids to read and show them how much fun reading can be. On behalf of all the Education Service Centers and the kids and teachers of Texas, thank you so much for all your efforts. Thank you. Now, without further ado, there are a lot of schools out there that are anxious to ask you a question. So let's start with Region 13, Hayes CISD, Buddha Elementary. Are you there? Hello, Mrs. Bush. Hello. My name is Drew. Hello, I'm Drew. in the fifth grade. Dr. Rep is, is my teacher. Ms. Dita is my librarian. What do you think is the most challenging thing about being First Lady of the United States? What is the most challenging thing about being First Lady of the United States? Well, I would say really keeping your family together. And uh, in my case, I seem to have an open mouth on every subject. So the, one of my challenges was not saying what I thought all the time, <laughs> but mostly the children, grandchildren. I mean, it's very important. It's very important for everybody to uh, cherish their families. So I'd say that with, along with the political side and all the duties that you have and uh, the travel that you do, the keeping your children happy and close to you. Hmm. Thank you very much, Drew. A good question. It was a good question. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go to Region 2, Gregory Portland ISD, East Cliff Elementary. Are you there? Yes. Good. Hello, Mrs. Bush. Hello. Hello, Mrs. My name is Urgen. I'm in third grade. My teacher is Mrs. Garza, and my librarian is Mrs. Duran. My question is, who inspired you when you were first lady? Who inspired me when I was first lady? Lady Bird Johnson. Hmm. I really thought she was a great lady. I knew her well. I liked her very much. And, and Lady Bird is the one who said, you know, being First Lady gives you a, a wonderful ch opportunity to speak up for heart or cancer or reading or whatever you're interested in. And uh, I, th I think she was a very great, gentle First Lady, and I liked her very, very much. And she, she allowed me to get out and do things that I was hoping would help America. So she, she, she inspired me. Then I must say my mother-in-law, who I adored, was um, very, very gentle. She had four daughters-in-law and one 
son-in-law. And all four of us thought we were her favorite. I knew I was. And uh, I think that's a good lesson. I have four daughters-in-law and one son-in-law, just as my mother-in-law did. And I do love all my daughters-in-law. And I hope they all think they're my favorite. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to go to Region 5, Hardin Jefferson ISD, Sour Lake Elementary. Are you there? Hello, Miss Bush. My name is Chelsea. I'm in the fifth grade. Miss Taggart is my teacher, and Miss McCaw is my librarian. My question is What is your happiest memory from living in the White House? Chastity, that's a very good question. I hate to tell you this. I loved living in the White House. I have lots of happy memories. We had two children at that time who lived in the Washington area, and I loved hearing my grandchildren giggling and laughing, and I could hear them riding bikes around on the South Lawn. And I just loved that part, and I loved the people who worked there. Uh, we, we weren't very spoiled. We had 90 people whose only job was to see that we were happy <laughs> and comfortable. And when we had a uh, plumbing problem, just one telephone call did it all. But anyway, having said that, um, the, we went back to Washington this week. How many years has it been? We left in 1992. Uh, the Some of the same people were at the White House. We went back to Washington, and they came over to see us at our hotel. They were like family. So it, it isn't what you think the White House is like. It's, it's a family place, if you make it thus. And we did. We had lots of loving times there. Okay, let's go to the Panhandle, to Region 16, Silverton ISD, Silverton School. Are you there? Hello, Ms. Bush. My name is Cash. I'm in the third grade. Ms. Tuck is my teacher and Ms. Brock is my librarian. My question is, while you lived in the White House, what was your favorite holiday to celebrate? That's a great question. The White House at Christmas is the most unbelievable place in the world. And all our family came every year to the White House. And <clears throat> you're so cute. <laughs> came every year to the White House, and uh, then when George was president, we would, would go up, to, we'd come to the White House, see that beautiful house, all the wonderful volunteers and the trees and the decorations, and then we'd go to Camp David, all our family. And when George W. was president, every year he invited us up there. And we did the same thing. So for 12 years, we had beautiful Christmas time. Then we allowed the in-laws to have uh, their family at Easter. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to Region 12, Karen's ISD, Karen's Elementary. Are you there? Yes, we're here. Hello, Mrs. Bush. My name is Daisy, and I'm in the third grade. Miss Frost is my teacher, and Miss Quinn is my librarian. My question is, what was the most important thing you learned while you lived at the White House? What was the most important thing that you learned? That I learned at the White House. You know what I learned at the White House? That Because we had visitors from all over the world. We had... Um, Mark Valenza, the Queen of England, Queen of Sweden. We just had a, a we had um, Sadat of Egypt. We had a lot of great guests. And you know what? They all are just people. They, they're nice, wonderful people. And you don't have to worry about meeting people who are, uh, kings or queens or, as uh, John Conley used to say, potentates, whatever that meant. <laughs> but anyway, you can meet anybody and be very comfortable with them because they're just like you. In fact, you may grow up to be a queen. Who knows? <laughs> Daisy, is that your name? You're very pretty. <laughs> We're going to stay at Region 12. Belton ISD, Sparta. 
Are you there? Yes, we are. Uh -huh. Hello, Mrs. Bush. My name is Florida, and I am a fifth grader. My teacher is Mr. Burke, and my librarian is Mrs. Burke. My question is, how has the role of first lady changed over the years? Oh, that's a good question. How has the role of the First Lady changed over the years? It's changed dramatically, to tell you the honest truth, because originally, except for Mrs. Roosevelt and the ladies we read about maybe, but now the First Lady, oh, I choose my very favorite First Lady, my daughter-in-law, Laura Bush, <laughs> but she traveled to uh, countries that were in dire problems and took breast cancer, uh, discussions to them and preventative. She went to uh, Afghanistan, I think three times maybe. Oh. Now they wouldn't do that in the olden days and even in my day you wouldn't go over. I wasn't that courageous. But she did a lot of things. She took literacy to Russia. She brought Mrs. Putin to see the book fair that the Library of Congress and she put on. They would have 80,000 people on the mall and 100,000 by the end. And she took Mrs. Putin to see it. Then she took American authors whose books were translated into Russian over and helped her start one in Russia. Mm. I mean, she's an amazing woman. But be because it was all right for her to do those things, it wasn't quite so all right for me to speak up. At least I felt it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna move to Region 3, Victoria ISD, O'Connor Elementary. Are you there? Yes, sir. We're here. Hello. No? Yes. Hello, Mrs. Bush. My name is Olivia. I am in the third grade. Miss Whitaker is my teacher, and Miss Miller is my librarian. My question is, why do you think reading is so important? Olivia, I think reading is probably the most important thing that you can do. I think uh, if you can't read, you can't read medicine bottles. You can't read um, uh, instructions on how to put a machine together. Now I can read, but I can't put a machine together. But <laughs> anyway, reading is very important. It takes you to places around the world that maybe you won't physically be able to go to, but you can read about and you feel you know it. Um, I, I'm a great believer in everyone in the United States of America speaking English and reading English. And I think that's very, very important. How do you know when to cross a street if it doesn't say go? You've got to learn to read. And it will open doors that you never dreamt would open to you. That's a good question. Not a very good answer, but a good question. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're going to go to Region 15, Rock Springs ISD, Rock Springs Elementary. Are you there? Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Hello, Mrs. Bush. My name is Julie May. I am a fifth grader at Rock Springs Elementary. My teacher is Mrs. Fulton, and my librarian is Mrs. Scroggins. Our question is, were you a good reader when you were in elementary school? If so, how did you become a good reader, or what was your secret? <laughs> um, thank you very much, Julia Mag. Uh, I was a good reader. My dad was in the publishing business, so I had very little choice. Now, we didn't have television. Uh, we, didn't, we had uh, radio. But radio is not half as interesting as reading. And my dad would bring home books. And then we'd, I remember so well sitting on the couch with my mother and my father and a reluctant brother or two and reading. And we would read aloud. And in those days, I remember the Saturday Evening Post had serials. 
and they had Agatha Christie, and we would came once a week, this magazine. Daddy would bring it home, and then my, he'd read it on the train. My mother would read it, and then I'd get to read it. So we, we read uh, Ten Little Indians in serial form. It was exciting, and then we could talk about it. So I think um, I, it wasn't any secret. It was just my family read with me. I was the third of four children, and I was so glad to have someone pay attention to me in a family where my younger brother, the fourth child, was very sick, and a lot of time was spent on him. So the reading time was extraordinarily precious to me. I was probably a little spoiled, too. <laughs> um, we're going to go to Region 8, Chapel Hill ISD, Chapel Hill Elementary. Are you there? Yes, we are. Go ahead, honey. Hello, Mrs. Bush. My name is Brandon. I'm in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Bush is my reading teacher, and Mrs. Ramsey is my librarian. My question is, what was the first book you read that got you excited to read? What was the first book I read? that I was excited to read, got me excited to read. The book I remember, and it was a year older than you, a class ahead of you, I remember reading A Tale of Two Cities, and I'm sort of a romantic, and so uh, I loved that book. It was sort of scary, the French Revolution, but uh, a man laid down his life for his friend, and for the girl he loved, who loved his friend. That's making Charles Dickens a little simplified. But I loved that book. And I often wonder if sixth graders today would read that book and could enjoy it. It's, I wonder. Some of them, I'm sure. I hope. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. That's the first book. What was the first book you read that got you excited to read? The Magician's Nephew. What was it? The Magician's Nephew. Oh, really? Oh, The Magician's the Nephew. Well, that's, that's great. great. Yeah. You had an answer. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet I could ask everyone in this room. They wouldn't come up with that. But that's very good, and I'm very proud of you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on to uh, Region 4, Pasadena ISD, South Shaver Elementary. Are you there? Yes, ma'am. We're here. Good morning, Ms. Bush. My name is Michelle. I am in third grade. Ms. Gaitan is my teacher and my school is my librarian. My question is, which book did you enjoy writing more, your memoir or Millie's book? Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, Millie wrote her book. She dictated <laughs> it to me. <laughs> but uh, Millie's book was a lot of fun. And uh, I, here's a question. I. I wonder how many keep diaries, because I kept diaries the whole time, well, almost all my life, either in letters I wrote to my family or just diaries. And I kept diaries, so writing the memoir was easy. I just had to pick parts that I, all my life's been exciting. But I, I kept diaries so I could remember a lot. And so that made it easy. But Millie's book was a lot of fun. Did you read Millie's book? Do you know? No. No. <laughs> Millie's book's out of print, darn it. <laughs> but Millie's book tells you fun things about the White House. And she was so naughty, she sat on all those beautiful satin <laughs> chairs, and she had a very good time at the White House. Thank you for your question. OK, we're going to go to Region 1. Sapata County ISD, Sapata North Elementary. Are you there? We're here. <laughs> Bored here. <laughs> We're here. Good. Hello, Mrs. My name is Laura. I am in the fifth grade. Mrs. Medina is my teacher, and Mrs. Vela is my librarian. My question is, what inspired you to start the Barbara Bush Foundation for Family Literacy? That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. You know, I worried, truthfully worried, about people not being able to read. And then out of the blue one day, I was on uh, USA Today. Don't ask me why, but I was. And they gave me a check for $100,000. And 
I could spend it on anything I wanted. Well, I, I just couldn't spend it on me or my children, so I decided I would start a foundation, and uh, that was 20 years ago or so. And we have given almost $40 million away to 600 or 700 uh, literacy programs around the country. And uh, I, I think a lot of people can read now because of that that $100,000. Imagine giving me $100,000. <laughs> anyway, that's what inspired me to start the foundation. But it's because we have to read. And Texas is behind. We're, we're such a great state that we really should, I'm, I'm on a new kick now, which is every person, no matter what age, what they do, do they have children or not, ought to take schools into their view and they ought to help the teachers. They ought to, teachers can't be mothers, fathers, doctors, whatever. You've got to help, help them. And so I'm really very strong on the fact that we have to strengthen our public schools and we have to help our children. Thank you for your question. Okay, we're going to go to Region 4, Aylid ISD, Owens Intermediate. Are you there? Yes. We're here. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Bush. My name is Jasmine. I am in the sixth grade. Miss Parrish is my reading teacher, and Miss Scholl is my librarian. My question is, what do you enjoy most about your time after leaving the White House? Friends. That's a great question. You know, I, I loved the White House, but I never missed one day of it. I loved my friends. We came home to Houston, and the neighbors, we rented a little house while we built a house, and uh, next door, practically. And our neighbors planted the rented house garden. They cleaned the house. They unpacked everything before we got home. And when George and I came home, you might think we'd be sad, and we were, Nobody likes to lose, but uh, there was a truck on the highway, and it said, welcome home, George and Barbara. Mm. And we loved that. But I love a and I love coming up here. There's not enough time in the day to do all we like. So I'm, I'm very happy at home. My friends, mostly, I must confess, I love seeing. Hmm. Okay, we'll do our last one from certainly not least, uh, Region 7, Tyler ISD, Jones <coughs> Elementary. Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, ask your Hello, question. Hello, Mrs. Bush. My name is Ramia. I am in the third grade. Ms. Culpepper is my teacher, and Ms. Shirley is my librarian. My question is, what do you feel is your greatest accomplishment being the first lady? That sounds like bragging if I tell you <laughs> what my greatest accomplishment <laughs> is. But um, I would say the Barbara Bush Foundation, the fact that so many more children can read now. I believe in family literacy because I think the mother and father should learn to read at the same time the child is learning. Otherwise, how can, how can they know how they're doing in school? and it helps them get a job. So I think probably, although I'm embarrassed because other people do most of the work, like Shirley and others <laughs> do most of the work and I get the credit. I do raise the money <laughs> and that's not easy. But thank you for your question. And you know, someone else who didn't come in was going to ask me my favorite book. Can we try them, or do you think they're gone? Um, I'll check. Uh, Mrs. Solo, uh, I believe there was a question about Mrs. Bush's favorite book. Are, are we done with going to schools now? Is that there our last one? one that didn't come on. It may be. Um, I could try, oh yes, um, I could actually try Friendship ISD Willow Bend Elementary. It was the one, the, the district that was going to ask about favorite types of books to read. Willow Bend Elementary, are you there? Bennett Elementary is here from Friendship. Oh, good. Oh, good. 
Okay, could you ask Can your have question? A question? Yes, go ahead. Yes. Hello. Hello, Miss Bush. Hello, Miss Bush. My name is Vanessa Fair. My teacher is Miss Robertson. My library is Miss Cat. We are studying children's authors. Who is your favorite children's author and book? Oh, children's author. I spent a wasted morning <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of <laughs> Anthony Trollope. <laughs> but for those of you who are interested, Anthony Trollope, Jane Austen, and Maeve Vinci are my adults, but my favorite children author. I'd have to say, I can't remember her name, but um, I, I, I really didn't like Harry Potter's books, but I loved the fact that boys and girls, but mostly boys, well, I used to go to fifth grade and I'd say, okay, who likes to read? The girls' hands all went up, no boys. Once Harry Potter came into our life, boys all read. So I'd have to put Harry Potter down as my favorite author, author for children's books. And I'm so glad you got to be there. You're absolutely ravishingly beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.